Hi, y'all. We're gonna make some baked tacos and Mexican rice. Yes, so let's get started. We're gonna start by adding two tablespoons of oil, vegetable oil to a pan. This is your Mexican rice. We're gonna add some onion and some peppers to that, just because I like a lot of seasoning, a lot of flavor. Take this up a little bit. This is gonna be on medium high heat. You can put that rice in here if you want sugar. Then we're gonna add one cup of white rice to it. We're gonna stir that all up. this all in here get that nicely coated with that oil you're gonna brown your rice up in here that's what we're looking for okay so this is your burning close this is starting to brown can you see that Starting to turn brown. So we're going to slowly add, uh, you can either use 16 ounces of warm water, we're going to use um, crushed tomatoes. Ooh. All right then. And an eight ounce can of tomato sauce. Here. Jar, so I didn't put the whole jar in there. And to that, we're going to add one teaspoon of chili powder. I like to use chipotle chili powder because we we like things a little bit spicy around here. Yeah, let's see. And then we're gonna add two teaspoons of this. It's um, tomato bouillon is what it is. So we just have about two teaspoons of that left. So we just set that aside. And then to, we're also gonna add two teaspoons of minced garlic, which is about two cloves. Then a nice stir. We're gonna heat this back up to a boil, and then we're gonna redu reduce it to low, and we're gonna simmer it for 20 minutes. Okay, so while our rice is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and get our taco meat going. So we're just gonna brown up our taco meat, or our hamburger meat here. Taco meat is getting done, or it's just ground beef right now. We're gonna add some uh, a minced onion in here. Thank you. Here. Get that all cooked up together. We have some uh, beans are draining in the sink here. We'll be adding those here in a second. All right, so we have our taco meat here, and we have strained it, uh, drained all the grease off of it. And we're gonna add, add a couple tablespoons of our taco seasoning here. If y'all need an, a good taco seasoning, we can sure tell you how to do it. This is delicious. And a little dribble of water to help all that absorb together here. Add the beans to this. I'll just 
is absorbing, we as well have them beans absorbing it too, right? oven on at 400. All right, so that's cooking down. We're going to go ahead and um, add about a cup of chunky salsa. This is our homemade salsa. We've got about a cup left in there, so I'm going to just dump that right in. Give that a stir. Just let that warm up in there a little. Okay. Now we, Isabella and I are going to um, stuff our taco shells with this and then we're going to top it with some cheese. Okay, so we're just going to take these taco shells. We've got 12 taco shells here, and we're just going to fill them with a couple nice, hefty scoops of beef mixture. That's all right, they fall. We just have to keep them sitting up once they're filled. Come just a little closer so I don't dribble all over. Thank you, sugar. Okay, so we're just gonna do and top some too. Sure. Top these with some cheese. Right in the oven. Here we go. Okay. So we're gonna bake those for about eight to 10 minutes, just till the cheese is nice and bubbly and starting to brown. Okay, so our rice is done, and we're just gonna fluff it with a fork. Nice. Yummy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay guys, there you have it. Baked tacos and rice. Yummy. Yes. <laughs> As always, we have totally enjoyed spending time with y'all. And let's keep it simple. And fun. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss any of these fun videos.